So frequencies, what frequency do you think is the best? I mean, this kind of gives you a cheat sheet here, but most people in here, do you use 8 kilohertz? Somewhere around 8 kilohertz to locate? What do you use? 29 kilohertz? Yep. 512 hertz, 33 kilohertz, kind of all over the board. The, uh, anything lower than 1 kilohertz is considered a low frequency. The lower the frequency, the less bleed off you'll get on other lines. The lower the frequency, the more it will travel the path of least resistance. If you want to locate that gas main out and have your signal not bleed off onto anything else, you want to use something lower than 1 kilohertz and that one kilohertz or lower will actually travel further because it's a longer waveform. A waveform that has a bigger wave to it, like a 512 hertz is a half of a kilohertz or a 60 hertz, like the power lines are putting out. They're a long waveform. So if you have a garden hose or a, a extension cable or Christmas lights, you know, when you're putting them out and you get them caught on something, and instead of walking over there and untangling it, you, you try to wiggle it loose. If you do a nice big burst, a single burst, you'll see go further than if you do three or four bursts all in a row. They'll only go about half the distance. So that 512 hertz frequency will go much further than an 8 kilohertz or even a 29 kilohertz or 33. Those are much higher frequencies and they'll bleed off. They handle resistance better. So if your objective was to try to locate cast iron pipe or a pipe with rubber gaskets on it, they will handle that resistance better and they will locate those house or gas house services out better but they will also couple over to other neighboring lines much much greater so the object is to stay as low as you can on your frequency um, and then you can always push more power behind it it's the frequency first that makes you bleed off and then if you are bleeding off putting more power behind it doesn't help it just makes that bleed off much worse but first choose the right frequency the low frequencies work great on their um, cable lines, you know, stuff that has a nice sheath to it. Um, fiber optics. Uh, most of your fiber companies run somewhere around a 512 hertz frequency because they've got to get the distance. They have a land mount transmitter that stays in the office that they call up on their cell phone and turn it on or off. That land mount transmitter is about 150 watts and it will transmit um, approximately 70 miles off of a single hookup. Um, in a circumference of 70 miles. So they, uh, they don't have to carry one of these portable transmitters usually around be because of that. But they'll use a 512 hertz or somewhere close to it, maybe a 470, uh, you know, a, a 520, somewhere real close to that 512 hertz. If you're dealing with cable TV and telephone, again, that 512 hertz will work better. But if you're trying to take that locate signal in and out of several pedestals where it could be grounded out, the bad thing about 512 hertz is it's going to get to that first grounding point and most of it's going to turn around and go right back to the transmitter. So if you're trying to get any distance off of a locate going in and out of several transformers or pedestals, uh, you want to probably use a little bit higher of a frequency like an 8 kilohertz. So people that locate power, they'll find that the 8 kilohertz probably works best or somewhere around an 8 kilohertz works best because you're always grounding out at the transformers and pedestals in the house losing signal. If you use too low of a frequency, most of your signal will be lost right off the bat. So if you use something a little higher, like an 8 kilohertz, it'll work better. Um, if you're dealing with copper, that's an easy conductor, not a lot of resistance. 8 kilohertz or 512 hertz works pretty good. Um, just think of the more resistance on the line, the higher the frequency is going to have to be to get any distance on your locate. But yet when you go higher in your frequency, you're going to also bleed off onto other lines. If you hook onto this nice corroded pipe right here and try to locate that out using a 33 kilohertz or a 29, no matter what frequency you use, your transmitter signal is going to say, uh-uh, I'm not going down that line. I'm going to bounce over to this gas line or this cable TV line over here, a lot less resistance on it, and uh, travel down that. So if you hook onto this line or even a cast, a regular cast uh, iron line, your signal is going to have a hard time. It's a very, very bad conductor. So your signal has a hard time. Electricity has a hard time traveling down that conductor. So what it happens is it just gets off that conductor and gets back to that ground rod on the transmitter to complete its circuit instead of traveling any distance down that conductor. So cast and ductile is probably the hardest thing to locate. Uh, bare steel 
is not, not too easy either because they're just not, they don't have that protective coating on it. Um, tracer wire is probably the easiest thing to locate as long as the other end of that tracer wire is grounded so your signal has somewhere to go. Got it? So don't use, whoever said 29 and 33 kilohertz, don't use those unless you need to use the induction method or you, you're using this ring clamp. Because you have to use a frequency that bleeds off because you're purposely trying to bleed signal into that line when you're using a ring clamp or the drop in the box or putting the box over the top using induction mode. So something like a 29, a 33 kilohertz, anywhere between that 10 to 50 kilohertz range is what you're going to have to use when you're using those methods to apply your signal. As for anything 50 kilohertz or higher, um, you should only use those if you're trying to maybe jump across a gasket or jump um, across a brake on a cable or if you're trying to locate to a dead end um, and you're having a heck of a time getting those lower frequencies to get all the way to the end of that pipe, that's the only time you should use those higher frequencies. Just be aware, the higher you go, the chances of bleeding off become greater and greater.